I forgot to do Dougie's bum. He came in the house and his rear end was just covered in mud. I didn't lift the tail. There you go, dog. I'm done. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show. It's been about uh, 40 minutes. Ducks are taking a second crack at coming home here. I think it's about uh, 20 to 5. They're really uh, juicing it right to the last minute here today. You can tell they're uh, having a really good time at the lake. Just, uh, just how slow they come back. They're in absolutely no rush to come home. So I've made the big uh, duck adventure decision, guys. I'm not going to do the call until the lake freezes. When the ducks uh, can no longer go uh, to the lake, then I'll do the call. So as long as the ducks keep going to the lake, that's how long they're going to live this year. Well, the ones I'm going to call for my food. So that's the plan. So I'm not going to rush. I'm just going to uh, let the ducks have a grand time here, the remaining ducks have a grand time and enjoy themselves. And then when they can no longer enjoy themselves at the lake, then I'll do it. But like, just look how slow they're coming home. Like it's, it's, you could, this is a brutal video actually, uh, watching the whole thing. It's so slow. They're like a bunch of kids wandering home, you know, it's no focus. It's like there's no real reason to rush. It's like, how slow can we do this? Got uh, a little dog sitting here watching them. Watching his ducks come home. It's too bad about all the traffic noise because they're making a lot of noise right now drilling. You guys rush out right now. I'll actually rush 10 minutes. It was a 10 minute rush here on this road. And we just happen to be hitting it right now. And if I go down there, it might spook them to go back to the lake. Well, it looks like they're uh, taking the time here. Plus, there's another group down at the uh, creek. I can hear them going, uh, honking away down there, quacking. And I think we've got some Muscovies that are thinking about going back to the lake. The five females are right beside me and they're heading back down towards the lake. Well, this ain't a mountain to any kind of rush, guys. I gotta go back. I'm taking the grid apart in the... Uh in the pan and reconfiguring it here uh, to make it harder for the owls in the winter to uh, have a snack. But they're, uh, they're really, really slow. And I gotta uh, get this done because I've gotta go down to the lake and uh, get that little cripple duck uh, because I know that little cripple duck won't be able to walk home. So I've gotta get my act in gear and get things done here before it gets dark. I was almost thinking of leaving the uh, grids there for the winter. Thankfully I didn't. The screws would have just snapped right off. I would have had a massive mess uh, for snowfall. Any ice comes off the roof. 
I gotta go do a search and rescue, guys. I'm gonna throw the pivot heads on. The little duck that I took down there uh, isn't coming back. There's no sign of it in the creek. Uh, so I'm gonna go throw my rubber boots on, pivot heads on, and we're gonna go out in the canoe and see where it went. And speaking of the lake, guess who's sneaking down? Three uh, male, it looks like three males. They're heading down to the lake. And this little female is probably gonna fly. Oh, speaking of flying, when I was taking all the grid apart, an absolutely perfect fly in. Uh, three of them flew in from the lake. I looked up and I saw them coming over the bulrushes right from the lake. And they came in and they, it was awesome. It was just awesome. But I had a drill in my hand and not the camera, so. I think this girl is going to fly to the lake. And there's another one looking right there. There's another one behind the males. She's, yep, there you go. Look at Oh, I hear some other flying behind me. Look at that, they're leaving me. And then there's the three males. Not two, it's three tonight. I guess they heard that there was a party at the lake. Do you believe those Muscovies? And the thing is, I don't know what they're eating because I was in the pen here working and the ducks never came into the pen all afternoon. Like after I washed uh, the windows, well that's when the Muscovy showed up, but they never came into the pen. I did all of this work in here and there was no ducks in the pen. They just started coming in right now. So I don't know what the Muscovies are eating. They're, uh, they're, <laughs> they're feeding themselves right now. I know they're busy in the ground, the grass here. You know, they're doing a lot of grass eating. Uh, the ducks are nonstop eating grass. But I'm gonna go and throw the pivot heads on, throw my rubber boots on, and we're gonna go down and do a quick search and rescue and we'll see if we can find that uh, gimp duck. Well, I see a Muscovy. I'm gonna get in the canoe, guys. Sorry, Doug, you can't come. Because I have to rescue a duck. The last thing I want to do is be dealing with you in the canoe and trying to save a duck. Okay, he's running the shoreline like a fool. Are you going to follow me, Doug? <laughs> Look at him sinking. Water's getting deeper and deeper there, Dougie. The vegetation's sinking on you. No sign of the little duck. Except ducks just go crazy here following me going through separation anxiety because I've been taking in the boat with me all year so he doesn't understand why I can't go in the canoe but there's just no sign of this little duck Doug thinks we're hunting right now that's why he's so excited I didn't bring a gun, Doug. So it's totally up to you. But I do not see a little duck. Oh, another Muscovy! Oh, right there! I don't know if the pivot heads are getting it. Well, Doug saw it. Look at him running. <laughs> okay. I have no idea how that turned out with the pivot heads, but yeah, pivot heads aren't the best in low light, guys. Doug is going crazy running here. He's really hating this that I'm not taking him in the canoe with me. Oh, he's behind me now.
No sign of the little duck anywhere. Because this is where it would be hiding. You know, along a shoreline here, and I'm, I'm going around the shoreline here at this end, and there's absolutely no sign of a little white duck. That's just bizarre, man. Nothing. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show. Look at these Muscovies out here. It looks like two males, three males, and then two, four, five, six, seven females, and three males. But no sign of that little peeking duck. Thought maybe it'd be with the Muscovies. Do you believe this little renegade bunch? I don't believe this. You have no idea how much relief I have since I made the decision we're not going to do the cull until the lake's frozen. Just, uh, I don't know, I think I was putting the, the pressure on me too much, you know, just getting back to the show after saying goodbye to all the ducks and I'm going to hold off here. Because you never know, if we have a warm November, you know, I, I've actually, guys, I have seen the lake open on Christmas Day. So, it's totally possible that we could have water here right till December. But then again, I've seen it frozen November the 4th. Let's look at this little clan of ducks. Escapees. I like to know what they're eating. Oh, don't panic, it's just me. And you look how waterproof their feathers are. I don't know if it's showing up in the video, but you can see the water droplets on them. Serious waterproof. And then you've got the, you know, the breeders, those two breeders up in the yard that are, their feathers are like sponges. Well, uh, they're staying down here for the night. You know, this is relaxed when there's no snapping turtles. But absolutely no sign of that little duck. Absolutely nowhere. I have no idea where she went to. Unless she died and she's just stuck somewhere. Just when I took her down here today and I let her go. Uh, you know, I saw that, that uh, plume of green diarrhea come out of her. That's not a good sign. Well, I'm going to go lock the ducks up and call the night. I almost got all my jobs done. But I, I did some jobs today I didn't count on, actually. Oh, I have so much relief now that I'm not going to do the call till the lake's frozen. Maybe we'll be lucky enough and it will stay open right till December. I've seen it here. I well, I'll put it this way: I fence the fr front of my property along the highway. The fence that's on there, that, that's installed, the, the whole front of my property. I actually did that the week before Christmas one year, and I remember the day before Christmas in a T-shirt outside, putting fencing wire up. So it's not impossible to have nice weather. But it's also quite possible to have nasty weather really early. Well, I'm going to leave these ducks alone and go and lock up the ducks in the yard. But there is no sign of a little white duck. Absolutely none. There's a dog that's really wet. How you doing, Dougie? Oh, you're soaking wet and muddy. <laughs> you wanted to come in the canoe so bad. You could have, though, because we didn't find the duck. And I find it hard to believe that one day of swimming that the little duck would be a-okay. I ain't thinking that. Yeah, I don't think that little duck... Uh, it made it. There's no way one day of uh, 
swimming is better. I don't know why Muscovies do that. They, they sleep outside in front of the pen like this. Come on, girl. Get inside. Oh, gate slam spooked you. You know, it's 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 crazy. You know, uh, the ducks get all panicked. It's me in the pen with them. Doug's not even in the pen here, and they're all panicking. Relax, duckies. Oh no, you're not going back out. Look at this little thing. No Muscovy. <laughs> Angel, get back in the pen. Unbelievable. Oh, they're such little sneaks. Here's a good flock of Muscovies. That's a ton of them, actually. It's going to be interesting when we do the census how many I have. That's it, guys. Good night. Time for your shower, Dougie. Come here. Oh, you're really dirty, too. Okay. Now, the only reason he's letting me do this is because it's warm water. If you did this with cold water, uh, he'd take off. Of course, I'd take off too if you're doing it with cold water. Oh, the mud's coming right off him. You can be so good, Dougie. Now, everybody, you're going to look at this, guys, and you're going to think, oh, that's such a good dog. You have no idea how much training it took to get Doug to be like this. I can tell you the first time I did it, well, I shouldn't even tell you what it was like the first time I did it, but... Put it this way, he had a leash on, and uh, he uh, fought me so much that he almost choked himself that he passed out. And I refused to uh, give in to him, and I made him do it. And uh, this is what you get if you suck it up and, you know, just say, well, you know, it, it hurts you the first time because you're doing it to yourself, hurting yourself. But... After this, you'll get uh, that you won't mind, will you, Dougie? And I do his head last. Actually, his head doesn't need to be done tonight. It's more his neck. He's got mud. Last night, he had his top of his head covered in duck poop. And uh, I had to give him a, a full facial spray, which he lets you do it. You just don't spray him right in the eyes. And that's how you give Doug a shower. Oh, Doug, you're awesome. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.